Hello, I'm Wayne Partridge, a Christian businessman. Today I'm very upset with what's going on in the Roman Catholic Church, how they have strayed from the true Word of God. A Bible-believing church today has got to be grounded on and its foundation has got to be taken out of the Word of God. Everything they teach has got to come out of the Holy Bible. And uh, they have to teach and preach what's going on in our lives, and that is uh, discipline, uh, marriage, family, uh, dying, heaven, hell, sin, salvation. Those things have got to be dealt with from the church, and they have to be taken from the Word of God. And the Catholic Church has deviated from the truth that's in there. One of the, the, where I'm going to start is where they deviated in how God deals with sin. And they say in their doctrine of faith that sin is washed away by baptism, and that is heresy. I'm going to start real quick where sin began and then go from there. It began with Adam in the Garden of Eden. God created man, a perfect man in a perfect world. And God, uh, Satan, who hates God, deceived Adam and told the biggest lie ever told, and that is that he would not surely die. But Adam took of the fruit became the first sinner, centered into, entered into the world today because of Adam. And Satan, who hates God, took a perfect man in a perfect world and transformed him into a dying, hell-bound sinner. And that's what you and I are today. We are born dying, hell-bound babies. And the Catholic Church deals with that completely wrong. This is their, our Articles of Faith, taken right off of their website. This is number nine. There's 12 of them. Baptism is not a small thing. Using such potent symbols as water, oil, and fire, baptism is a powerful sacrament that washes away original sin. Get that now. Washes away original sin and its effects. It gives us a new identity, connects us with a new community of believers, initiates us into a new way of living, and provides a clear mission in life. Baptism has meaning on many levels. Reading from the bottom of the middle page, Baptism leaves a permanent spiritual mark on the soul that makes us holy and opens us to salvation and eternal life with God. There's nothing in the scriptures, nowhere, that states that baptism washes away sin and leaves a permanent mark on the soul that makes us holy. That's not there. That, my friend, is a fabrication of the Catholic Church. It is a big lie. The disciples went teaching and preaching, and they had people that wanted to be part of that understanding. They confessed their sins and were baptized in the River Jordan to show that they had confessed their sins and they wanted to live this new life that the disciples are teaching and preaching. Now, Jesus Christ, God, sinless, went down into the waters when he was baptized, and that, my friend, is to show the world that he is going to die on the cross of Calvary for our sins, and that he was buried and rose again on the third day. And that is the purpose of Jesus Christ. He came to die on the cross of Calvary for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day. And this was just simply a symbolic showing of that. The disciples said, For Christ sent me not to baptize, 
but to preach the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 3. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. The word of God, that is, God says that Jesus died for our sins. And the Catholic Church says that baptism washes away. That's not in the scripture. So who do you believe? John 14, 6 says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Romans 6, 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Those scriptures all tell us that we must trust and believe in Jesus Christ, that he died for our sins, not some priest or man sprinkling water on our heads to forgive us for our sins that we can be saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him, not, not baptism, that the world through him might be saved. To sum this up, the Roman Catholic Church tells us that we can have a man, they call him a priest, dip his, water, his hands or put his hands in water and sprinkle that onto a child, a man, a woman, and that will not only wash away all their sin, but it will put a mark on their soul that will make them holy and prepare them for all kinds of things. And that, my friend, is heresy. That is the biggest lie that the Roman Catholic Church has ever told us, told to man. God says through the scriptures that Jesus died for our sins. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ that he was buried and rose again the third day. And friend, if you believe that you've been baptized and that baptism took away your sins, you are still a heartbeat from hell. And you will, if you die in that state, you will go to hell, not purgatory. That's another part. Now I have one more scripture that I want to show you where the Roman Catholic Church is in the Bible. Coming right up. Revelation 17, St. John, verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman set upon a scarlet-colored beast full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with the gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abomination of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints 
and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Verse 15. And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. These verses in Revelation 17 are symbolic of the Roman Catholic Church in the world today. The peoples there that the, har the whore or the harlot is setting on, those waters that he's, she's setting on, are nations and multitudes of people and tongues. The, the Roman Catholic Church is worldwide, and it's a very easy, very popular church to go to. But just like poor Adam in the Garden of Eden, the devil deceived him and then plunged the entire human race into hell, he's at it again with the Roman Catholic Church and many other churches. They take a portion of truth, stuff it full of lies, make it attractive and appealing, and then it deceives one. And when they die, they think they're going to heaven. And in most Catholics, they're not good enough to go to heaven, so they go to purgatory, which is another fabrication, and we'll get to that later. They are trusting in their church to go to heaven, and they're not. It's, if you are trusting in baptism has taken away your sin, and you're trusting in that, guess what? You are a heartbeat from hell. You won't make it. So I'm burdened about this. I mean, when I think of the billions of people that are trusting in the Catholic Church and they are dying daily going straight to hell, just rips my heart right out. I want to pray with you. I want to give you an opportunity to be saved and to be saved by the Scriptures, not by the Roman Catholic Church. Pray with me right now. Be sincere in this prayer. Father in heaven, I am trusting and believing by faith that Jesus died on the cross for my sin. Please forgive me for my sin. Come into my life, come into my heart right now and save my soul. Make me a new person. Make me a new creature. And thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, get out of the Catholic Church. There, you know, if you got saved, if you were sincere, you're saved. You will change. And you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And then maybe... After a while, then you can get back baptized to show people that you did get saved. Okay, thank you, and good day.